Hi, I'm Lee Labrada, author of The Lean Body Promise, and I'm here to explain how much protein you need to build muscle. If you ask people how much protein do you eat each day, you're gonna get all sorts of answers like, I just eat as much food as possible, to I measure and weigh out my protein foods, to I get a gram of protein for every pound of body weight. So let's try and clear up the confusion once and for all. In this short video, I'll talk about what the science and the real world say and why it differs based on your activity level and weight. For example, how much protein you need when working out differs from if you're relatively sedentary. I'm also going to share with you an easy strategy to save you from weighing and measuring your food when you're in a rush. We're also gonna show you how to spread that protein out over several meals so you can maximize digestion and absorption. So let's get started. So what do the experts say when you ask, how much protein do I need each day for muscle building? Well, it depends on which expert you ask. You're gonna get a different point of view. Many studies have tried to determine the optimal amount of protein for muscle gain, but many reached different conclusions. Some studies show that more than 0.8 grams of protein per pound has no benefit, while others indicate that protein intake slightly higher than one gram of protein per pound of body weight is best. However, from my personal experience and numerous studies, which all end up in the same range of protein requirements, one gram of protein per each pound of body weight is just about right for people who are working out. And it's just the right amount to build muscle and change your body composition so that you can carry more lean muscle and less fat. Now let's look at the one gram per pound of body weight and how that can differ based on activity levels and the sports you engage in. The amount of protein you should eat each day depends, as I mentioned earlier, on factors including your weight and activity level. If you're active, if you're exercising and you're lifting weights, your protein needs are actually higher than that of a sedentary person. Bodybuilders, powerlifters, crossfitters, and other athletes pushing their bodies to the extreme will typically have the highest protein requirements. These athletes may want to consume as much as 1.5 grams of protein for each pound of body weight because of the high training and stress loads. The data supports benefits of increased protein for these athletes both in increasing and maintaining lean mass. So we've covered the basics on how much protein you need to lose weight and build muscle and why you may need more. Now let's look, as promised, at how to calculate your protein requirements and how to split that up over your meals for maximum benefit. For the sake of our conversation, we're going to assume one gram per pound of body weight per day. So let's say that you have a 200 pound man. That 200 pound man would want to consume 200 grams of protein per day, while a 120 pound woman might only consume 120 grams of protein per day. This daily protein intake will be spread out over several meals and not eaten in one sitting. Now, opinions vary on how many meals to eat during the day to consume your protein, but I personally like to break it up into five servings, meaning that one, you'll have about one meal every three hours. This means that our 200 pound man would consume 40 grams of protein at five meals for a total of 200 grams of daily protein. On the other hand, our 120 pound woman would consume about 24 grams of protein at five meals, for a total of 120 grams of daily protein. Now these are just meant as guidelines and your own individual needs may be higher depending on workload and stress levels. Okay, now that we have discussed how much protein to consume in one day, let's look at what a serving of protein actually looks like. So what I have here is a chicken breast and this is about 40 grams of protein. Here I have a piece of grilled salmon and this is about 40 grams of protein also. This is a container of egg whites. If you were to consume the entire container, it would have about 50 grams of protein, or you could just have half if you have a smaller appetite, 25 grams of protein. And then of course you've got these. These are lean body shakes, which have 40 grams of protein. If you're in a hurry and you wanna get that protein and just don't have time to cook, these are fantastic. Some people like to weigh their protein foods to get an exact measurement. If you're in a hurry and want to eyeball it, however, your protein portion should be approximately the size of the palm of your open hand. Okay, to summarize, the answer to how much protein do I need to build muscle is, number one, 
approximately one gram of protein per pound of body weight each day. Number two, consume your protein over several meals to keep it manageable. And number three, weigh your protein using a food scale or just eyeball it to get a serving of protein the size of the palm of your open hand. Protein is necessary to help your body recover from exercise and rebuild lean muscle tissue. Protein is not an optional nutrient. It should be consumed at each meal to ensure that you're getting an adequate protein intake. Listen, whenever you're in a hurry, a ready-to-drink protein shake such as this lean body shake can make it easier for you to get your protein. Pay attention to your protein intake and be consistent in getting the required amount each day. You'll make better and faster improvements from your workouts. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and as always, feel free to ask us any questions below. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel so that you're instantly notified of our next video. I'm Lee Labrada, your Lean Body Coach.